I'm Susanna Lindman and I'm a principal scientist at Cytiva R&D in Uppsala, Sweden. Me and my team are working to find new purification solutions for mRNA. And here I will give you some tips that it's important to think about when you purify. Here I will share what we have learned about how to optimize the in vitro transcription step. That step is where the mRNA is synthesized from the plasmid template. These tips has made it possible for us to obtain mRNA in yield and purity uh, similar to those reported in the literature. In vitro transcription or IVT is an enzymatic reaction. We have found out in our lab that it's very important to have control of all ingoing components to maximize yield and purity, such as the plasmid template, the enzymes, the nucleotides, the buffer conditions, as well as temperature and time. As a tip, you can use a design of experiment to optimize several of these parameters at the same time. We have also found out it isn't one generic protocol that works for every mRNA. Each individual mRNA sequence will require its own optimization. The same is true from uh, reagents from different vendors. Optimizing uh, this mRNA reaction uh, can seem very tedious, but I will tell you it's really worth doing it because it will save you time later on. One of the biggest challenges uh, you will see in the lab is the stability of the mRNA. Mm. And it's of utmost importance that you keep uh, the reaction and the conditions and all equipment RNAs free. But don't assume uh, it's RNAs if you have problem with the stability. Yeah, the stability is also affected by the salt concentrations, the buffer conditions, as well as temperature and time. It can seem daunting, but you can produce mRNA at scale with sufficient optimization, giving you a very good yield and a high purity.